everybody a very warm welcome to this new episode of Future Fuel videos. Today we are going to talk about Power Cloud. My name is Carola Wahl. I'm a member of the advisory board of Power Cloud. And together with me today is Marco Beich, the founder and CEO of Power Cloud. Marco, great having you. How do you feel today and how do you feel about Power Cloud? Thanks for hosting, Carola. Well, quite good feelings, to be honest. Uh, we drive a company that has a great success in the market, in the utility space. And if you have a great success, that feels good at the end. But again, uh, on the other side, it's, of course, a lot of work we have to do. So, Marco, who are you? Who is Marco Beich? If people would like to learn a little, little bit more about the guy in the yellow shirt. The guy in the yellow shirt, that's uh, something the press uh, made as a, as a sentence. Well, um, I'm born in a, in a small city, uh, which is called Aachen, in the southern part of Germany. And uh, after I finished school, I founded there my first company, which was back in 2003, an e-commerce company, when e-commerce was not what e-commerce is today. And this company had a great focus on telcos. And from telcos, I get a link. I got a link to utilities. And that is where Power Cloud started in 2012. And what is Power Cloud exactly? What are some of the problems uh, it can solve? And what are the solutions it offers to its more than 200 customers already? We are something like the backbone for the utilities green revolution. But what does this mean? At the end, there's something going on at the market at the moment in this sector. Renewables are rising, competition is rising, margins are going down. All things utilities have to face with for the last 20 or 30 years to that extent. And those utilities build it up really complex monolithic systems to manage their business. We as Power Globe help them to escape that monolithic systems and migrate everything to the cloud in a brand new platform with an app store that helps them to create new business cases and new products within days and not within years. And that's really important because if we don't help those utilities to do that, they will have no chance to be ahead of the green revolution. Get it. So you you started as a founder and you have been a successful serial entrepreneur, um, and now you're CEO, uh, CEO of uh, the fastest growing SaaS business in the utility space. What is the biggest difference um, in being a CEO from being a founder, and what are the biggest challenges? That's an interesting question. When you start a company, well, everything is linked to you as a founder. You're doing every decision, you're involved in every single process, but it changes as the company grows. And now today, I'm not working really in projects, but I have to work all the day on, on the strategy and my team and work with a management team that has to do those decisions for me uh, because I just can do everything in a company of that size. And that's a big change for all the founders out there that it's not easy. And I guess that's a big threat for most small companies that grow fast. And you mentioned the team and, and growing the organization. Uh, what are the kind of people you're looking for? Um, how do you recruit and what is the most important trade in, in people you, you're looking for when you hire? Well, Carola, if you grow by that speed, by that speed, you need everything. You need new developers every day. You need new subject matter experts every day. You need new business analysts every day, but also people in administration. So the team is really growing super fast. The real important thing is that we do not lose our identity. So we like to stay power cloud in a way 
as we started Power Cloud. So what we search for are people that have the same vision than we have. The vision of going to a carbon-free world, doing sustainable things, keeping customers happy and help our clients to be better tomorrow than today. So everyone who is aligned to those ideas can join Power Cloud and will have the opportunity to be part of a really great story. So you're supporting companies um, and utilities um, to become the enablers for a carbon-free world, but I know you're very passionate about sustainability also for the new office building you're building, uh, because you say I, you want to contribute yourself as well. What, what is it all about, the new campus? A year ago, we decided to build a new campus, a new home for Power Cloud. And that's not only an office space, that's also living together, that's um, having even a hotel on our plot we, we bought already. And um, well, that's a super smart environment. And we want to create a lighthouse here in Aachen and uh, some, um, well, campus that reflects our ideas. That, that's super, super important. And because of that, it was also important for me not only to be carbon neutral, what these days many people out there can do in constructing buildings, but we are net carbon minus, which means even the carbon emissions we do during construction phase will go to zero after a couple of years. And that's super cool. Well, Marcus, thank you so much for your time today and spending time with us. Um, I, of course, wish you continued success, uh, you and your team, and I'm super proud to be on your board. Uh, you are one of the most amazing founders I had the honor to work with, and I'm very much looking forward uh, to, to this year, which is going to be an important year for Power Cloud. And uh, dear audience, I hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, stay tuned on Power Cloud. Um, uh, I'm very, uh, I can promise you there are more exciting news to come. And um, I hope you all uh, had a good uh, time with us. Thank you very much.